While filming, Rhea and I discussed a lot about the camera work, thoughts, and acting. Throughout the video, I challenged myself to express the stress teenagers can have through facial expressions and recreated possible actions they may take when under pressure, such as excessive makeup and overthinking, as one of our significant purposes of this video is to indicate the current situation of teenage girls affected by the social media. The reality we point out in this video is based on our personal experiences, such as how my purpose of doing makeup changed through the past few years. Makeup used to be a tool to conceal my insecurities, but now it is a tool of self-expression and what made me think more positively about my appearance. It might not be relatable to every audience, but we hope all people can recognize and think about the modern society by watching this video. So as for the filming and editing process using an iPhone and iMovie, I focused on using various elements of Ms. Onsen as we aim to effectively deliver our message through the visuals despite the language barrier. This included techniques such as including different types of shots, angles, lighting, and depth of field when focusing on or accentuating the object, action, or the character's facial expressions. We also had a great time making the video transitioning more smooth and more creative, adding more variety of shots using camera apps and going to different locations. And not only it was a opportunity for us to send a strong message about self-confidence, but it was also a great experience for us to challenge to persuade what kind of techniques are effective when we want to indicate a social issue. Therefore, it was definitely a valuable time for us to explore what we can do using techniques we know simply with affordable and accessible tools. So please, please enjoy. enjoy. Beauty is pain. How come? I realize that every time when I see a mirror, I unconsciously take a glance at myself at it. When I go out, I realize that I head to the makeup store or at the magazine aisle where I stop and take a moment to think about my appearance. And every time I do this, it makes me want to say, I wish I was prettier. Every day, getting ready questions my purpose. If I follow what's said to be beautiful, will I become a happier person? My photoshopped face. The only face that is the best version of me, which doesn't exist in real life. But still, this is exactly what represents the definition of perfection. That girl is so pretty. I want her eyes. Why can I be her? I've always wished that that was my face every time I look at my reflection. Life would have become so much easier. Why do I wear makeup? Because I want to conceal my skin, my blemishes, and my insecurities. Because I want to be prettier. But behind my smile, I feel loneliness. Almost feels like I'm surrounded but still alone. Everything needs to be perfect, just like it's photoshopped. And when it's not, I do it again. I often look at others and compare as I take a look at my updated feed on social media. It feels like all the ads, photos, and norms are pressuring on me at once. No one will ever know the amount of time and money I spend to reach my satisfaction of somebody else's standards.
Don't eat. Don't be too skinny. Care what other people will think about you. And if they leave a bad impression on you, it's your fault, whether your feelings are hurt or damaged. And why? Because Beauty is pain.